Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Uh, this video is going to be a bookshelf reorganization video. And this video, like I reorganized my shelves. It took me about 12 hours total. So like two separate days of reorganizing my shelves, getting them perfect, like how I want them. So if you want to see me organize my shelves, then keep watching. This is the first time that I've done a bookshelf reorg where I am just like so happy with the results. I always start a reorganization and then I'm like halfway through I'm like I really really regret this but yes it was hard work but oh my god so worth it like I'm a new person. I am a new person after reorganizing these shelves and I just feel so good about them. They just feel so clean and sparkly and fresh and perfect and I adore. I adore them. So yeah, hope you guys like this video. There's some bookshelf ASMR if you're into that. Before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys so much for being here and enjoy the video.
I have spent so much time on these shelves, you guys. I still need to fill this shelf out. And I think I'm gonna make it my Crescent City shelf. Like, I think that's what's gonna happen. Let me do that right now. And then I'll show you guys like a little overview of the results. I'm so, so happy with these shelves right now. But yeah, let me just do the Crescent City and then it will be done. <laughs> Okay, this looks, it looks so good. It looks so good. Oh, so happy with it. One minute later. Okay, so I'm actually not like super happy with how my Harry Potter shelf turned out. So, I think I might change this up a little bit because it just looks so cluttered. And this is what I'm thinking. I'm going to move fruits basket down here. So now my shoujo manga is like kind of all next to each other here. And then I could, I could move these here. We'll just see how this looks because I'm not sure. Okay, so they almost, there's like too much room. I wonder if I could put one of these here maybe. Oh, I just realized you can't even see the freaking shelf. Cool. Anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna, how, oh shit. Okay. So I have these like miniature Funko Pops. Oh my God, they're so cute. So I'm just gonna put those like on top of the books. Oh shit. Voldemort, don't you even try it. Don't play, I don't want them to fall out. But that looks cute, okay. And then I can do something like this. Maybe. So this mug has like a bunch of Harry Potter bookmarks, whatever. I haven't even opened. Oh, this is so cute. This is like, it says here lies. It has a spoiler for Harry Potter if you haven't read it. So I won't like zoom in, but you know, if you know, you know. Okay, if you know, you know. Put that there. This is a little Gryffindor dragon that one of my friends made me so cute she like she made this such a long time ago but it's like made out of clay or something so i'm just gonna put that right there because it's adorable and then i've got my like harry birthday cake thing i'll put it here maybe i'll take out these bookmarks and put that there and then do something else with the bookmarks Okay, yeah, this is cute. Okay, I'm gonna move my restricted section sign to be where the books are because that just makes more sense to me. Oh, freaking Voldemort! Voldemort! Yeah. And Hermione. Y'all, Voldemort and Hermione are giving me problems okay shit did this break okay now i'm all flustered okay anyways we're gonna put them back where they freaking belong maybe i have them do i have them in the wrong way you know what i might but i don't care okay i think that's cute yeah i'm a fan of that i feel like it looks nice and clean and just organized honestly that's what i like okay cool perfect is it off-centered? Whatever. Okay, and then we have Hagrid and his little motorbike. So cute. Happy birthday, Harry. Um, 
this is kind of cute. Like, it's like a, I can put some books behind there so it doesn't look so like plain or whatever. Okay, and then moving over here, I also have this that I got from Ikea. I didn't know what to do with these throne of glass. Shit, I don't even know what to do with this. Okay, I could put it here actually. Oh, that's kind of cute. Um, I like that. Okay, that's cute. That's like my fan fiction shelf. Thanks to Mel from Mel Binds Fix. Oh, <gasps> cute idea. Look at this. Tom Felton's Beyond the Wands. I have it annotated. I have like a annotation video on my Patreon for this one. But look at this. I love it. Oh, can you even see it? Or was my big old head in the way? Look. Ah, I love that. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. Cool. Okay, so I think I have them how I want them. I'm so excited and I'll give you guys a little overview. So I used to have Zodiac Academy up there. This is my new Empire of the Vampire shelf. I have my Outlander, Crave series, Bridgerton, which I have not read yet. Look how adorable. Oh my God, I love, I'm obsessed. And then my manga. It just makes so much more sense the way that I did it now. God, it was all over the place before. Okay, and then this. <gasps> Are you kidding me? I love this. Now, I don't really have room for all my shelfies, but like, it's fine. I'm gonna have to figure out what I wanna do with my shelfies. If I push all the books to the front, like I can't put the shelfies on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, this is like an overview. This is all my Sarah J Mass. Sarah Jan, okay, so maybe I should move. Well, okay, I don't know, cause all of this is like, Harry Potter fan fiction and then Sarah J Mass, but then there's more Sarah J Mass there. So I don't know what I'm going to do that. Like if I want it to all be all the Sarah Janet to be together or not, but this shelf is kind of a free shelf because like this is all just placeholder. So like that stuff's not actually like, that's just like a bookcase. That's special edition obviously, but yeah. Um, and then we have some YA fantasy down there and then we get into my romance. I am just like so obsessed with how all of this turned out. Okay, and then we have Thriller like in the middle, but like it's fine. <laughs> I didn't know where to put her. Okay, the Thriller girls, they're just gonna go there. And then that's also a free shelf because like that book is, I mean that casing is phased out. It's actually not a book. So that's another free shelf. So I have like that shelf down there. So like half, one, and a half, two, because that makes two, and then two and a half, about two and a half shelves that are essentially free shelves, like really not much on them, just like placeholder stuff. So that makes me happy. Dark romance, a mix between like male, male, and some of my favorite romances. These are some romances I haven't read yet. This is a mix between ones I've read and I haven't. And then we get into like some really pretty books. So like collector's editions, um, some more dark romance. Uh, this is like a catch-all shelf. I don't know. I had to have a catch-all shelf. And then more fantasy. Some of the fantasy I haven't read. I really need to read the series like so bad. So if you can like encourage me to read it, that would be great. I have my Twilight. Uh, I also really need to read this series. I love, I love, I love. I just honestly, I just want to stare at my shelves all day. I'm so obsessed. Except for that shelf down there. But yeah, I just think it turned out really, really good. I'm very proud of myself, honestly. Oh, look at Draco. He looks, he looks so happy. I have more Draco figurines. I collect them, if you didn't know. But yeah, Wait, this kind of looks a little crazy. I guess that's the point. Okay. Anyways, amazing spectacular never been done before i love it there's a close-up of that shelf honestly i die so that is my bookshelf reorganization i'm so so happy like literally i've never been so happy with my bookshelves in my entire life before i just feel like these shelves just like tell a story about who i am that's how i feel i feel like it's me. This is my new personality. It's my bookshelves. So I'm very happy with them. No regrets on this undertaking. It was a lot of work, but so worth it. And I'm so glad that I took my time with it. Like normally I rush and I'm just like, I just want to get it done. But this time I like 
took my time. I think it's like a total of like 12, 14 hours of just organizing my bookshelves. And I have literally no regrets. Like this is, I, I could just stare at them all day. If you made this far and you want to let me know, you can leave a little plant emoji because I got that new plant from Ikea today and it's pretty cute. So we love a greenery added to the shelves. Anyway, why am I so weird? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. You can also support me by checking out my Patreon if you would like to. And then I also have um, Instagram and more content on Patreon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.